For quite a long time, there were ongoing attempts to try and bring the real-time strategy genre over to consoles. Games like Command & Conquer 3 tried to port over existing PC experiences, while some other games like Halo Wars were built with the consoles specifically in mind. But nothing really took off. These days, you don't even see that many PC RTS games that get made. So, imagine my surprise when Tooth & Tail popped up, which is not only a fresh and interesting new RTS for the PC, a relative rarity, but also a game that seems to have finally gotten the controller stuff right. Tooth & Tail takes a similar route as another game that didn't do quite as great of a job at the end of the day, Brutal Legend. Everything you do in Tooth & Tail is centered around the actions of the player character. You're heading around your base, spawning new buildings, and directly ordering your minions in groups. And honestly, it feels way better here than it did in Brutal Legend, probably because it feels like the game was built around the concept, unlike Brutal Legend, which felt like it wanted to be at least a dozen things simultaneously. The core economy of this game is built around food, which is, interestingly, a very finite resource, and is quite limited on every map. This isn't like the minerals of StarCraft, where sure, you'll eventually run out at any given base, but it's not really a pressing concern. It's more there to keep you from turtling forever. But in Tooth and Tail, the rapidity with which your food will run out forces you to push and strongly dissuades you from any turtling, which in turn accelerates the speed of the match in general. Any slowdown or stumble on your part means the momentum swings to your opponent. It also does a great job of maintaining some of the most important RTS standbys. There are several unique factions with different units and ways to play, and a surprisingly interesting and engaging story with a well-thought-out world, with its own animal-based social class structures and food sources. It's really reminiscent especially of old-school Blizzard RTSs, with their shockingly well-built narratives. It also does a really good job with scenario variety. Each mission requires you to do something that is pretty significantly different from what you did in the last mission, and they manage to maintain that through a surprisingly beefy 10-hour campaign. I will admit that I know basically nothing about this game's multiplayer, which is a feature they're touting relatively often, but I have no real desire to matchmake with randos online and get my ass kicked. Still, I think Tooth & Tail is very easy to recommend, even with the multiplayer component completely absent. If you've been looking for someone to do an interesting variation on the RTS genre, or hell, for someone to release basically anything that's a real-time strategy game at all, this game is fantastic. It's practically just an added bonus that it works well with a controller, and sure, the direct control of a single unit, building and commanding units will turn off some people, but with the limited selection for this genre in general, I'm glad people are still willing to try cool new things, and try to expand it to new people instead of just catering to the same old people who've always played these games.